Okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> you know what? Fuck it. Here's the thing. No, Maurice isn't right. He's not. Saying that my chat blindly follows me is true, but in this situation, they're not. Because everything that I said about all of my roommates, none of it was a lie. I never said it was a lie. I'm just saying, they're not blindly following me. Yes, they are. No, they're not. I, I can't I can't sit here and read this and just stop. I was gonna not talk about it. I was gonna ignore it. But in this situation, in this situation, they they're not, not blind. How are they not? Because they know. It, 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 it doesn't matter. I'm not talking about one specific person. All of you, I'm not lying about any one of you. I have not said a single fib. I have not over-exaggerated a single I, emotion my at all. My point was not that what we're doing is a lie. That is not my point. My point about that entire thing is not that we go with I just wanted them to understand that we don't literally just do this shit for the hell of it. We're not all living off you because we can say, no, actually, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, no. You had your chance to do your fucking little drama monologue, now it's my turn. Because it, this, no, 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 listen. Because this is the first time that after all this drama that gets trickled down to me for the past fucking two weeks, I'm saying something about it. You, congratulations. Now you're going to listen, you're going to sit there, shut up and listen. Understood? Listen, everything that I said about you guys is not false. Why and you know you what? If they... I said it is my turn to talk. Shut up. You're Be quiet. I said it's my turn to talk. Then you're gonna talk you want to me to? You want me to be real with you? You want me to be real with you? Be then you shut the fuck up. up. You shut your ass up and you let me talk. Shut up. I, you keep attacking. Get this boy away from me. I said shut up. It's my turn. Okay, okay listen to me. You're no, you listen to me. Okay? Because you are over here saying shit. You're over here saying shit. I never wanted to move in. I wouldn't want to do X, Y, and Z things. And you know what? If you want to talk about we brothers and all this shit, then it's even fucking worse. Because you didn't even try to make your life fucking better for two years. You didn't do that. And you want to And you want to call me? You want to call me your brother? All of you don't know how good you have it. And you have the audacity to take over my stream. Is that shit to me that you didn't want to say shit it? to me? The only reason you want to do it to this bitch, that's what you want to say to me? Nigga. That's what nigga. you want to say to me. Nigga, are you And serious? you want me to sit are here. You serious? And you want me to sit here and do that. We talked about yes, this shit. Yes, I'm We talked about for this shit. For the first time, no, we for the first this. time, I'm responding to all of your drama that comes no, from me. No, we yes. talked about no, this. No, 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 you no, can't no. attack that the shit with Leah. I'm not attacking her. Then why'd you bring it up? Because you said, you said, that the only reason you moved in was because she was coming. That was your word, not mine. Okay, but why did I not want to move in, Sky? Why did I not want to it move in? It is not that hard to better your fucking life. It's not the fact of bettering myself. Like I said, I, I had what I wanted to do. I was in school. I had a job. I did not want to come up here because I did not want to be in this place. I did not want to have to ask you for food. I don't need, I don't want that shit. This nigga Joe called us a pup for a fucking reason, my nigga. And why? Because we're a fucking murder on And so you're just no, gonna no, no, sit no, no, there. No, no, you're gonna no, no. sit there and just let that happen. You just got us a job sit there. You got us a job. Yes, okay, I did. School. Like I said, I, even though you want us to work all these fucking hours, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to go to school and finish my drawing shit. I don't want to work at fucking Ralph for 40 hours a week. Fuck Ralph. Come on, blood. They gonna come. They gonna charge. Give us eight dollars and ten cents an hour. What the fuck? I look like spending my entire week at Ralph's. Nigga, I want to finish my drawing shit. That is why I told you I want to work and go to school. Fuck Ralph. And you wait. You wanted to so bad come on my stream and do that shit. No, you wanted so wanted bad do, for these. What if, I wanted to do. If you is think that sell, these, like I said, a few of them got the point. I just wanted people to understand. That every time you get on stream, literally me, Joe, and Zex just get this hard on. We literally sit there and wait for us to be slain on your stream because you make us look so bad. I just wanted people to wait, understand. Wait, I make you look bad? Or do you guys make yourselves look no. bad? No. Okay, you're true at that point. Like I said, the shit that you're saying is not false. That's not what I'm talking about. I want these fucking This right here. Models. No, no. This. Listen to me. This right here is my job. 
You I have sure you have no I right. Never, you I have never no meant, right. I never meant for this shit to happen. Really? I you came on stream and exploded because one subscriber said something. Okay, he was more jokingly at first. No, 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 no. And then no, you, no, and no, no, you no, were, no, oh, I'm like, Richmond now. It, it, okay, I can say Richmond, but like I said, people were laughing. This shit right here, now this is serious. Like, I was I working. Serious. Listen to me. I was working. I was seriously sitting here working. I was doing, I, I, I haven't streamed in so long. I literally, everything you see around you is things that I... I mostly paid for it, and I, I was working, and you, and, and you had to come through and say that. You no, literally no, ruined, no, you ruined the environment of the stream like all I because said. one or two of these niggas. But that's how you took that first. You know how we work. And no matter what I do, we make shit joke out of how serious, no matter how serious the shit is, we work in tandem like that guy and you fucking know it. At first, all I wanted, like I said, all I wanted people was to understand that while we live here, yes, unfortunately, you do have to pay for everything. But none of us want that. None of us just leech off of you on purpose. Nobody wants that shit. That's all I wanted them to understand. And then Dr. Keeper said some shit, and I, like, jokingly attacked him, and then everything just went to shit. It wasn't a joke. No, because I could get far fucking it worse wasn't than that, a and joke. you know it. It wasn't a joke. Okay, no, when I was actually clowning the dude, but I wasn't sitting here attacking like I am now. I absolutely wasn't. I come on, dude. I caught him some fucking cotton candy. I was literally just having fun with the dude. I was not serious. No, because you got angry. And I then, heard you. But that's what I mean. This is why I call your fans blind followers. Because these lame ass niggas that got your dick so far down they throw. No matter how much my point is right, they will sit there. Oh, look at Maurice. He's okay, wait a minute. First of all, first of all, all, first of all, no. I'm not gonna let you sit here and insult the people that make this possible. These people, they might blindly follow me, but these niggas pay for all of this shit. Do so not insult them. I fucking love every single one of these niggas right thing. here. Who the fuck am I to them? I'm one person. There's never been one person in fucking history where a one man show just stopped everything. I you did. No, you did. No, no I did. You did. Down your move, but I will tell you right now, all these fucking And the fathers, show had I, to go on. No, but you know why I brought this up again? I brought this up because I cannot sit here and let you sit there and think that everything that what they're saying and everything that I'm saying is false. Uh, you keep saying that. I don't say your shit is false. We are absolutely So what they shit. portray you as is true. Bitch, what? Everything that they have been saying has been true. By your word. Yes, because what I'm saying is unbiased. And I never, I never call out a name. I never you said don't. But let's be real. Who the, at the end of the day, who the fuck is always around you? Me, Joe, Zet. Why do you think that they would think that you stole my debit card, Maurice? Because I did the shit before. Because you done it. And but that's the point. That's why I'm trying to get at. I want them. I just like I said. I literally just want them to understand something. I didn't. I did not say that you weren't right. You are absolutely fucking right, one hundred percent. A on the fucking test, nigga. You are right. That is not my point. My point is how they keep saying, "Sky, you need to drop them, nigga." We have been through so fucking much, literally. But look at this. This take that point. You need to drop them, and you don't agree with that, right? But for the past two weeks, and Anthony is the only person that's ever leveled with me on this. For the past two weeks, everyone else's drama has been always brought to me, and I have not been a part of it. And you you literally, in the one thing that I can do where I'm away from everyone, you wanted to say your piece, and it turned into this. Well, the said, one, I my never, one escape. I never wanted it to go that far. I want, again, I just wanted them to I understand know you, boys. that they will. I just wanted them to understand that while we do have to be a burden on you, none of us wish it. Like I said, literally, if there was a You got your job. Why didn't you wait until Saturday? That's my question. Why didn't you wait until Saturday? Again, because I didn't expect it to go this far. I people that's the people always talk shit. I just uh, one more time before I get interrupted, like I said, if I bet if Joe, me, or Anthony just had the chance to do something that could slightly unburden you just a tad bit, we would do it. You can. Oh my god, you can. It's really simple. It is so simple. If everyone just kept their drama away from me and let me work, that'd be great. That'd be amazing. If you didn't listen to these people, that'd be great. These people are going to be by my side no matter what. I could literally start a suicide cult. Guarantee 30 of these niggas would kill themselves. Here, the I'm issue. just saying because 
But how do you, that's why I say it. Every time you get on stream, your little brother, your brothers feel like shit because even though you're giving me some Well, I hope you do. I hope you guys do feel horrible. And these are some of the reasons why I, I didn't do. want to live with I you. I do. But you know why I hope that? Because I wanted to, you know what you said about Henry? Oh, I'd carry him for the rest of my life if I could. I hope. I really hope that you do feel bad. And I would hope that one day that guilt just consumed you so much that you would fill out a fucking application. But I had to find you guys jobs. No, but I, was, but we I did that. Like, you know how many fucking applications I did? I did. But uh, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So why did it take me no, two no, minutes? No, no, no. Here, here's the big difference. Well, yes, you you have the charisma of a fucking god. You go out there and you, that little Gary bitch, you just make her little vagina start flowing all type of little secretions. But me, unfortunately, I'm a different type of oh, wow. I have tattoos as soon as people see me. And I just yes, you are a know. nigger who made but, bad choices. But like I yes. said, that, another thing, I had a job. We talked about this. I was fucking hoping that I didn't want to move in here because what if I couldn't find a job? We talked about this and you know it. I did not want to move up here because I was so fucking scared of, again, being in this position where you have to pay for all my shit and not being able to find a job. I was so lucky that I found that job that I did. Because, again, everyone looks at me as like, oh, my God, he's from Richmond. Let's not hire me. He's going to ask him to shut up the building. Welcome to my fucking life. I have tattoos. I have brothers that literally own the fucking city I live. Everyone knows my fucking name. You know how hard it is to get a job down there? He's going to have two stupid-ass fucking brothers that literally make it hard. Sebastian is such a fucking loud mouth. That nigga has so many fucking, uh, uh shit really like tickets. This, this dumb bitch drove his car and literally made it roll. Nigga, we are infamous where I live. Unfortunate fucking I was so lucky. And now that I'm up here, I, I was fucking freaking out. I was like, oh my God, what if I don't find a job? And then again, and I, I found, found it. Wait, hold on. But yeah, you guys, no, know, whether or not I did, whether or not I did, let's pretend that I didn't even find it. You found it, right? And you start Saturday and you know that. Why the literal fuck, like, what part of your brain said, oh my god, it's what, Monday, I should start shit before I get a job. Do you know how many people in this chat, my very fans, call me fucking fat, nigger, stupid, bad at this game? Do you know how many times I read that? And you are really... I only had 3,000 people. I'm normally sporting like 10K with no big streamers on. You're gonna let that make you get to this here, to interrupt here, my here, shit. Here, again, that. Like I, said, I didn't wish you to go for it. And here's the big difference. You're Scott. Everyone loves you. Everyone sucks your That is the most not, not true thing. No, 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 no. That's me. not true. Because I'm not gonna let you finish that. You really think that everyone loves me. You really think that because I use and my no, weight, my no, weight, my race, and my sexuality day, as a crutch, here, everyone loves here, me? Here's, here's the thing. No matter. This, this is why it works for you, because you can have a thousand fucking haters. Those fucking haters pay. They can come and view you. You can have 10 million haters up here and say the worst shit. But guess what? Who gets the fucking money out of it? You. Now, all these people that dog me, what the fuck do I get? Nigga, I'm, I'm not you. I don't have a stream. I don't make thousands of dollars a month. You, these haters support you in a way. These niggas don't do shit for me. They, but for you, Every little bitch that come on your stream and call you a faggot, wait, you get money out of it. Wait, think about what you just said. I think about what I said. These people don't do anything for you? I mean, technically, as association to you, I suppose, I guess. That's a huge association. That's a really big association. Okay, besides, I guess... That's like that. literally like... A really big, like, you can't... No, it is not as big as you think. Can I go buy a car with your subscribers? Can I get a nice house and buy a giant LED TV? Can I have a really nice computer? Do I get my own desk and a chair? Bitch, how much did your computer cost compared to mine? This was free. You know that. Okay, let's do calculations. This, the, the big Western College you have one right like there, your two monitors. Let's just, let's just tap on and say how much you think they cost. Yeah, that's yours. Look, look. I got these things. I got this house. I got all these things because every single day I spend nine plus hours worried about the future, stressed out about my career. Oh, and, scared. and I don't. That's why I brought up the topic of Melissa. Melissa's an amazing fucking artist, but even though she's as good as she is, she can't make it anywhere. She, well, she can't make it right. 
No, depending on what she does, she doesn't want to just be no basic little manga artist. Melissa wants to be a, a concept artist, and we have to be so good at what we do. I'm, I'm a pretty good artist, but not, I can't get anywhere with what I can do. Completely depending on your career. You can make people laugh, and for that, they pay you. Art is fucking hard. Because no matter how good I draw, there's always going to be someone better. And when someone's better, you know, you pick and you mix and match, whatever. But you think, okay, so you're saying that your craft is difficult. Have, but, uh, it's not have you ever considered, no, have you ever considered how hard it is being a comedian? It, it probably is hard, but it's a lot. I'm going to tell you this. Hard is an understatement. I literally am putting my life, when I'm sitting here, I am putting my life out to these people. When you're an artist, guess what you get to do? You get to go behind your desk and draw. I have to stand up in front of thousands of people. Thousands. And I have to, I have to say a joke. When you give somebody art, they're gonna give it back to you and say, oh yeah, it's pretty good, but this could be better. If I say a joke and people don't laugh, that's it. That's it. That, that's it. And, and, and that sucks. Being a comic, is hard, especially when you're not even that funny. Let's all be real. Like, do not attack yourself. Do, do, what the fuck? Maybe everywhere we go, you can make the entire place light up. But if I were a harder worker, if I were better at what I did, I'd probably be on TV by now. You can say that about anybody. In exactly. If That's. If was better, he'd probably be in the LCS. If I was better, I could be kicking my guy in the low ass. Uh, you know, everyone can always be better. But truthfully, the crash now, you have enough of it. It is a lot easier to get into where you're going to make people laugh. Boom, because you're funny as fuck. Look, I'm not. I'm not fishing. I'm not fishing for compliments. I'm just saying. Everyone's everyone's job is hard. Everyone's dreams is are hard. But what separates me? But there are some what, harder than others. What separates me from you is when I was 14, I worked every day at at three different jobs at a time. I can list them right now. Paper out, 16 Bon Bonza Gardens. Then I worked at Timberland, Reebok, at Reebok, and Nike. All at one time, I switched to Cold Stone. Full time, became a manager at 16. And then I went to fucking, um, I went to Cold Stone, Best Buy, and then I worked at um, Costco. After Costco, I started serving. At the age of 18, I was, I, was, I was a host. I went from Applebee's, Chili's, Red Robin. I went to all these ways, even Chevy's at one point in time. I became a server, one of the best. I'm going to say because I worked hard. I did all of that shit, okay? Until I got this job, and now I'm doing this because I worked hard for everything That's that I have. true. Unfortunately for me, no matter how much you do not believe it, I lived in Richmond, where, like, where you like to say God doesn't pay attention. I was more hoping I didn't get shot walking to the gas station to pick up the Skittles. That's what I, that's what I had to worry about. Going to work, I would like to not die on the way to work. Now you live in a better environment. Now yes. I do. And that's what I'm saying. So when you say shit like, I didn't want to be oh, wow. visibly or whatever, I know no, you, there was I, probably I said, more of that story. There was I probably more to that, but. No, I, that is it. I didn't want to move up here because I had things down there. What is this hard it is to get down there, I mean, how hard it is to get a job where I live. I got one and I was going to school. I, I had a good flow. You know, I could do the little blunt, lame ass American dream, just go to school and work my way up. Now, like I said, I didn't, I didn't want to move up here because I didn't want to be a burden on you. I was scared that I might not find a job again. And all these things would just slow my life down and cause problems. Then we went to fucking Fatty Man, you ended up talking about Leah wanting to move up here. And I was like, all right, you know what, I love little blood. If we can get her out of her house, I'll suck it up and make the shit work. Because then, also, I get to be with all my friends. Not just Leah, all of you. Because here we are, besides all the drama and shit that's been happening the past few days, we get to fuck around, make jokes about each other, we start to do a little black attack and shit. You know, things like that. That's all good. I, I love that. I was literally just scared at first. I was scared as fuck. Because I finally had something. I finally went to school when my dumbass brothers did. I finally had a job when my dumbass brothers did. I was I was in such a good position, and my mom was fucking proud of me. And now look, I can't even go back fucking home because I decided to move in with you guys. I have so I had so many reasons to be scared. Well, I'm so sorry that I made life shitty. I apologize for taking everything away from you and making you live in such a horrible environment. It's not that 
Oh, wait. So It is literally me. Am I the only one that got that from that? Am I, the, am I really the only one that got that, what I said, from what you said? And I took you away from everything that was perfect. That I did that because I wanted Leah to move in. Yeah. At the end of the day, no matter what, it's strictly not just Leah that I moved up here because it's a bigger choice than that. Because again, I, I said I was scared as fuck, and at the end of the day, she is definitely not going to be the reason that I just take my entire world away. Multiple things. She was just one of the biggest ones. But truthfully, for what I am, for what I do, LA is the perfect place to live. I was just really scared that things wouldn't work out. Because unfortunately they didn't work out the two times before. Some shit happened. Before. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to just quote my mom here because that is the most genius woman in my life. I don't care. Like, like to me, I, I hear you saying I've been trying to get a job. I hear it in my ears. I hear it. And I hear everyone else saying I'm trying to get a job. But my mom's saying will ring true here. If you really wanted a job, you really yeah. wanted an hour of a job, you would have had one right now. If you really felt that bad, and you really, really, really wanted to help out, you really did, you would. I'm not saying that you, in your thoughts, you were like, oh, I don't want to help Sky because I hate him, bye. No, you, you would, and, and, and you know what sucks is like, at one see, point that's in time. The thing, that's the philosophy of your mother. Everyone has different philosophies. But it's true, you know what? With that, I found a job in 48 hours. I was so fucking mad, but she was right because you have the charisma to do it and you know that you do. And I don't mean to sound like your fucking mom, but at this point, I'm everyone's fucking parent, so you know that you have the charisma, you know that you have the know how to get your job, and you just don't want to do it because blah 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 school and you're too good for whatever. I don't know, that's your, not true. That's I don't, not true at all. I don't know your reasoning, but you know what? You know what? My mom, to, I. No, I am not too good for anything. I, like, I, most people say a job is a job. If it pays, then it pays. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say, man, I wish I could do what you could do right now and work only for that. Because I, I worked at this. I literally bought a car, gave my mom 20 grand, and still had the means to get this house because I worked for all of that. And you can do the same, is I my point. I absolutely can. And what I'm saying is, you don't have to use school as a crutch. You can just I, do it. No, I'm not doing that. I just said I want to go to school. Like you, just in case the shit that I want to do don't work off, work out, I have something to fall on. I have something to go back to. I don't have a plan B, you know. I don't. You told me that, but don't you have a degree? Yeah, but that's not hey, like... Hey, guess what? How old are we, Sky? How old are you? I'm 24. I will be 23 next, uh, this next month. What the fuck do I have? And then whose fault is that? So many people's fault because I, I'm not. No, 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 no. I made bad choices. Oh, because wow. Every time I was in school, I always accepted everyone else's offer. Both of the times I was in school, I decided to come up here and live with somebody shit fucked up. I missed so many other days of school, and then boom, I'm right back here. I go to school, and then you were like, live with me. I was like, okay, here we go. Again. No, you know what sucks the most? Three. You know what sucks the most? You were acting the same way I did when I was 17. And you know what I had to do? I had to recognize that every bad event that's happened to you is my fault. Yes. I didn't say it wasn't. I'm saying it is no one else's fault but you. I didn't you. say it was. Who did I blame that this is all, all this errors and shit works around the fault? Who did I blame? You were saying it's a, but you literally verbatim said it's a bunch of people's fault. That is, maybe you didn't mean to, but that is verbatim what you said. Because I absolutely know it was my choice to live with you this time and the two times before that. It was my choice to quit school to come up here and try this shit again. It has always been my choice. No one else's. I did not have to live here. It was my choice to do so because, again, I wanted to try. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. it slows myself down during times, but it's one of those moments if I truthfully just said no at times, who knows how good my life could have been? Who knows where I could have been? Shit, I might have got shot already. Who the fuck knows? Different stories, it depends. There's so many ways these can go. Future was, I chose what I chose. And here I am. It sucks, but whatever. You, know, you guys just wore me down, and I'm, I, I couldn't be more embarrassed right now. I broke professionalism. Everyone this entire week has been just giving me all of their shit, and I've been trying to stay out of it. And they get me in, and I have to solve it. Between Lauren and Eric, between June and saying bad things about the three, 
and between fucking Joe and Lauren and now, you know, you and now me, it's like, they're literally, ha they're, I, I don't, there has to be another, this can't, this just can't be how people are. This, there's, there's literally, I know there's another, there's another way. There has to be. And I'm tired and I don't, I don't think this is fair at all. We 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 got in an argument so many fucking times in our sky, so shit. No, no, no. But here's the difference. The five different times that we got into an argument. Oh, it was three. Whatever. The different times that we got into an argument, you you definitely have said things that weren't as impactful as what you said today. And If everything can go back to normal at your house, would you want to go home? Yes. That's a yes. I'm not, I can, I'm not dumb. We'll work on that. And that'll be it. Because you're right. I can't go back home. I don't get to go back home. There's no working to make it normal. If I go home, I have to go to God for it. That's the end of the story. I decided to come up here, but here we are. I decided to say, hey mom, I know you're gonna be mad at me or disappointed if I leave, and I left. So plus even if I could go back home, it's not like I'm gonna I gotta then again wait for the semester to end and I gotta go hard ass search for another job back in the place where everyone seems to hate me. Oh, wow. You're just everything that's wrong with black people. I hate to even say that, but literally everything that is wrong with black people, and I, I, I'm being real, my people too, like you, you think that just the world no, has it out for I you. I don't see anything. I literally always try, no matter what, like, it hasn't even happened to you before where someone just drove by and called you a nigger. I don't listen to that. Whatever. I always, I'm always going to work for my life. I'm not going to sit there and say, well, the world hates me. I'm not going to try. That, that's retarded. That is literally just some of the stupid shit you can do. Because if it was like that, I wouldn't be here. So I could just simply say, oh, man, if I live out there, he wasn't going to see that I'm black and not give me a job. So I sound like a bad idea. I'm out here for multiple reasons. Why? Because, again, we're in L.A. where everything happens. I am definitely not going to sit here and say, because I'm black, my life is super duper hard. Might be a little challenge for us, but shit, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and just get on my knee and give up. No, I've never seen my race as a challenge. Never once have I thought that I wasn't going to get a job because I'm black. There you go. But you can't literally sit here and say that you've been trying your hardest to improve yourself. When I, I when I got up here and when we first moved when I when I like, work every single day to make myself 80 times better than what I was and you know what you know what sucks I can't take a break I took a break and lost a thousand subscribers that's forty five hundred dollars a month gone and that's what happens when I take a break when normal people take breaks they can go right back and make just as much money as they did before that money is pivotal because this career isn't forever. Look at Double If. Nigga just gets on, on, on Twitch for the first time, 70k viewers. Another threat. Something that I can't beat out. Now you got Night Blue taking over Twitch. You got Scar, you got the odd one who no longer plays. So he streams all the fucking time. Like, my career is it's looking awful. And yet, I can't take breaks. Whenever I hear anyone in the house complain about anything, I just, I, I, I literally wish death. Like, I want a sniper to just take you out that's what i want to do when anyone complains about anything because I really don't complain about what, how, whatever good you think you have it right now multiply that by 50 and that is a fraction of how good you have it 
a small, small fraction. So you have to put up with guilt. If you don't want to feel guilty, then they can do something about it. That's it. If you don't want to feel we guilty, did, didn't we? I did. Doesn't matter. I did something about it because I didn't want you guys to feel guilty. So I wanted you guys to get your own job. After five years, it took that. But does it matter? It does matter. At, at the end of the day, it was done. My life, again, another point where it's not, I, I feel, I do feel guilty being in the position that I am. I am the only one who can change that. True, very true. I was just stating that beforehand I had things and I didn't want to, I was more scared of losing them and it not happening. I didn't say it couldn't happen. I was just scared that it might not have. And you cannot say that I, I that was not warranted. Because I had something. I had a job. I was going to school and I literally cut those short to come back up here and try all those same things again. And you made that choice, not me, right? Yes, it is my choice. Everything, the position I am in, is all my choice. Yeah, I literally just want to know if I'm, if I was correct to be scared. Am I wrong? Was I wrong with that? I've never been scared like that before, ever. In my entire life. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to play the black card, but literally, in my town, my brothers are so infinite, infamous, their shit falls to me. I'm not, I wasn't, I'm not going to be them. I didn't go not search for a job. I'm not going to try to do a fake ass scheme shit. I got my ass up. I searched for jobs. I actually had two of them. I did pretty good. And I was happy. I got a job at Six Flags and um, over in my little closet thing. I was like, fuck yeah. I finally did something, even though my brothers pretty much have everyone here scared of them. I did some shit. I feel fucking great. And then you wanted me to move back in here. I was like, well, here's my chance. Fuck it, I do want to see my friends again. It was much better living here than at home. So I took the chance and boom, we got this uh, semi amazing house. The size is great, but all the problems that occur every two seconds is kind of yours. That is the only reason that, true be told, I was scared. Because I had something and it would suck if I didn't get it back. I would have fucking loved you, God. I just really did not want to come up here because of fear. Two more since you drop a man in madness. Fear and love. Bam. If you have the most sane man in the world, show him fear and he will break it. Shut your ass up, Zach.